thank you and uh, I would like to thank you the Politecnico di Milano uh, for inviting the Joint Research Center to this uh, important, interesting conference. Uh, I also <laughs> am very happy that you said <laughs> that we are the scientific arm of the European Commission, therefore I'm afraid I won't be able to give <laughs> any good replies to uh, your observation concerning the regulatory framework. But I will try, in any case, to uh, provide some, um, some information on what the Covenant of Mayors represents within the, uh, the EU 27 and beyond. Okay, once again, uh, I work for the Joint Research Center, which is a Directorate General of the European Commission, and in particularly, I work for the Institute for Energy and Transport, whose headquarters are based in uh, Petten in the Netherlands, while, while two units are based in, uh, in Ispra. Okay, let's see which are the considerations underlying the Covenant of Mayors. First of all, 75% of the population of the European Union lives in urban areas, and 85% of the European Union gross domestic product is generated in cities. It's, it is also um, worth mentioning that urban areas account for about 70% of the total primary energy demand of the European Union. And the, um, the rate of energy use is, uh, uh, the energy use is growing at a rate of 1.9% yearly versus 1.6% globally. So uh, after these considerations, it's clear that cities and towns represent at the same time part of the, prob ob of the problem and part of the solution as they have a huge potential for sustainable energy deployment with a positive impact on local economy. Okay. Uh, the European target to 2020 will not be achieved with an active involvement of empowered local and regional actors. Therefore, the Covenant of Mayors is trying to propose a new model of multi-level governance. Uh, the, the active role of cities and regions in the European Union energy policy is recognized in uh, some uh, important documents, for example, the Action Plan on Urban Mobility, the Smart Cities, the Energy Strategy to 2020, the Energy Efficiency Plan. Therefore, the Covenant of Mayors is a platform for interinstitutional cooperation built on the principle of subsidiarity. This means that the European Commission has set the um, general basis, so the, the target is set at the level of the European Union, which is the minimum 20% uh, uh, reduction of CO2 emissions, but the actions have to be chosen by each, mem each local authority and implemented at the local level. So let's see which are the commitments that a signatory um, tried to under, undertake signing the covenant. First of all, the, the general target, okay, the CO2 emission reduction uh, in their respective territories by 2020. To do this, a signatory has to define a baseline emission inventory, which is an instrument that allows to understand which are the most emitting sources in the urban environment. This serves as a basis to, um, to select the most appropriate actions uh, that will be uh, put in the Sustainable Energy Action Plan, which is a document developed with the active involvement of citizens and other stakeholders. Um, to also, the um, other commitment concern the adaptation of city structure, the allocation of sufficient um, human and financial resources, and the networking with other cities. Okay, there are three steps, they have been already mentioned. First of all, the signature of the covenant. Then, one year after the signature, the submission of the Sustainable Energy Action Plan to the attention of the European Commission. And every two years after submission, the signatory has to report on uh, the implementation of the Action Plan. And also, after four, every four years, it is mandatory to carry out a monitoring emission inventory. Up to now, we have almost, more than 3,700 3, cities signing the covenant, and they represent 
almost 160 million inhabitants who committed to reduce their emissions until 2020 by 20%. Italy is the most represented country in, this, in the Covenant of Mayors with almost 1,800 signatories, followed by Spain with almost 1,000 signatories. The, the Covenant of Mayors as a movement is also growing outside the European Union. Uh, we can see, for example, the extension to former Soviet Union countries, which up to now account for 36 signatories and are very motivated uh, to meet the European target objective. Also, it is going to be extended to South Mediterranean and other countries outside the European Union. Which are the main motivations um, that push uh, a mayor to join the, this movement. First of all, energy is one of the few municipal fields where significant financial savings can be achieved. Secondly, um, the, the possibility to have lower energy bills for citizens allow also to invest in other activities to have more qualified, to sustain more qualified job. And uh, there is also the opportunity to improve the uh, livability of a city. And finally, the motivation to fight the, the battle against climate change at a local level. Other motivations, by the voice of the signatories of the mayors, it's uh, to be encouraged by others and by experience of other signatories, and to, to work together in strengthening the Europe's green economy, to get motivated by the activity from other signatories and also to lead the fight against climate change. Up to now, almost 1,200 action plans have been submitted. I can provide some figures of the first, uh, of the first sample of SEP submitted. Mm, from this uh, amount, some had to be removed because they had some uh, mistakes, clear mistakes in the numbers. So uh, this sample of almost 1,000 SEAPs represent 71.5 million inhabitants, which is 45% of the Covenant population. 40, uh, 430 million tons of CO2, which are, uh, represent six tons per capita, about a bit lower than the European average, which is eight tons per capita, because some, uh, some sectors are explicitly excluded from the covenant. Out of these uh, uh, almost 1,000 SEAPs, uh, more than 800 have information on planned cost investment for a total of 38.7 billion euros. Which actions are in their SEAP? We have to remember that the focus of the covenant of mayors is not only reducing emissions, but reducing emissions associated to the final energy consumption in the territory of the local authorities. And this is why some sectors are explicitly excluded, like carbon capture and uh, storage and uh, other greenhouse gases. So, in, uh, some, just to mention some actions, in uh, Dublin we can uh, mention the first Carbon Neutral International Convention Center, or in Montreuil, Mm, they are planning to, uh, to give 300,000 square, square meters of new offices for small, medium enterprises that have huge potential to create local sustainable jobs. Other actions concern, for example, green cities like Almada and Freiburg, or other actions from the setup of the Covenant East, uh, for example, in Tbilisi, they are planning the refurbishment of residential buildings, and in Lviv, they are um, going to um, impose obligation for new buildings, for the energy standard of new buildings. Other actions concern the uh, local sustainable transport, or the uh, independence from uh, fossil fuel. So uh, switching to renewable energy sources. 
Okay, a signatory of the covenant can benefit from different kind of support. The administrative, technical and promotional support by the covenant of mayor's office in Brussels. The scientific and methodological support by the joint research center. Uh, also the institutional support by the European Parliament, the Commission and Committee of the Region. And also a relevant role is uh, played by covenant coordinators, namely provinces uh, in Italy, uh, which help signatories in the, with, with, action, with the development and implementation of their action plan. Also financial support. To see more in detail the, um, the, the technical support provided to signatories, we have the guidebook already mentioned before, uh, which gives uh, uh, guidance, provides guidance on how to develop a baseline emission inventory and how to develop a sustainable energy action plan. Uh, then we also operate a technical help desk service, replying directly to signatories, to co uh, private consultants, to um, provinces, uh, to any kind of uh, information uh, they, they need on the development of their baseline emission inventory and uh, of their SEAP. So we reply by email and by phone. We are co constantly in contact with the signatories. We also provide the evaluation of submitted SEAP to see if they comply with the methodology, methodological framework provided by the, by the JRC. And we also will be involved in the monitoring of the implementation. It is important to mention the role played by Covenant territorial coordinators and supporters. They are really uh, giving a, a full support to small local authorities which often lack of human and financial resources and also the technical expertise to develop their action plans. And so they are helping, for example, with the data of relevant, the, the collection of relevant data for the mm, local territories uh, in order to develop the baseline emission inventories. And they are also providing support in the choice of the most appropriate actions to be implemented at the local level. Up to now, we have more than 100 uh, Covenant Territorial Coordinators and 71 Covenant Supporters. Finally, I just wanted to mention the financial support by different initi initiatives at the European level, but I know that it will dis be discussed in uh, detail in the afternoon. So just to mention the Elena facility, the Smart Cities and communities, communities, Intelligent Energy Europe, European Energy Efficiency Fund, Structural Fund and Regional Development Funds, including the Jessica uh, facility, Life Plus and Interac. In particular, some example of this um, Elena Technical Assistance Facility, which has been uh, obtained by some Covenant coordinators. I will mention Province of Barcelona, who has been able to finance 55 uh, feasibility studies. The province of Milan, um, who is going to attain um, a funding to improve the energy efficiency of public building of uh, local authorities signing the Covenant of Mayors. And finally, the city of Paris, who is planning, who has received funding to improve energy efficiency in schools. So, with 17.5 uh, million euros, Elena has mobilized uh, about, about 1 billion euro in, in investments. Thank you. Thank you.